some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow, it worked! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her! I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Oi, that's our TV. Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know. Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum! Do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No, the Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. my horn! There's my wand! Oi! That's our TV! The ants are taking all our things! Yes, and ours too! Where are they taking it? Down to the Queen Ant! Nanny, I command you to have a word with this Queen Ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> <laughs> so Gaston can be your ant translator. <laughs> Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes. But stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! I'll go too, to keep Nanny Plum safe. <laughs> Good morning, Frog Spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow! I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh! They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh. you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. Morning time! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <laughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> where did this come from? <laughs> Really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does bat mean? Bat means bat. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk! Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. It's okay, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. Yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. Fantastic! When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? Uh, it is now. <laughs> By royal command. Oh, it's in writing. We'll have to obey it. Elves never break the law. And we're elves. Splendid. That's that sorted. Can I stay and look at the woodpecker with Ben? Yes, Holly. I've got more bird spotting to do. Da da do dum da dee da 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 dee dum da da dee da. There, all nice and tidy. Oh, what's this? It's just bird seed, Nanny. I'm trying to attract some rare birds. Don't sweep it up. Are you sure, Your Majesty? We don't want to attract a mouse. Look, Holly, eggs. <gasps> They're hatching. Baby birds. Hello, I'm Ben and this is Holly. Oh, they're so sweet. Hmm, they'd be a lot sweeter if they weren't in our home. They're going. I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying. And I'm a fairy. <laughs> OK, baby birds, just copy me. 
Flying is easy peasy. Egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <laughs> Bad ladybird. <laughs> what shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave. Dave the Dragon. Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <laughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> Clever Dave. <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. Good for nothing. Good for nothing? The honey in your sandwich comes from bees. No, it doesn't. Honey comes from a jar. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Didn't you go to school, dear? Yes, King School. We learned to wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's right, King Thistle. Bees do make honey. Really? How do they do that, then? It all starts with a flower. The bees eat sweet nectar from the flower. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. When they've eaten lots of nectar... <coughs> They take it back to make honey in the beehive. I'd love to see the beehive. I'll take you there if you like. Good idea, Mr Elf. And while you're at it, can you get me some more honey? Of course, Your Majesty. We'll bring you back a nice fresh jar of honey. Mr Elf, how many bees live in the hive? Oh, there are thousands of bees in a hive. Thousands? Wow! They must make a right old racket. Oh, yes! Get ready for the loud buzzing. It will be very noisy indeed. Oh, it's very quiet. Wise old elf, where are all the bees? They've gone. Gone? gone? Yes, flown off. We're waiting to see if they come back. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr. Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way, and the position of the sun is 
Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest, the enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice, perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> What good would that do? We could watch TV. Could the fairy fly for help? In that wind, you'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know. Gaston is good at climbing. <coughs> good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston, go. Get help. <coughs> Can I be a cowgirl? Sure thing, Holly. Here's your hat. <laughs> Wagons roll! Yee-haw! Yahoo! Yahee! Yippee-yay-o-kay-yay! I didn't realise moving chickens was so noisy. The chickens like noise, but we must be careful not to make a sudden loud noise. We don't want a stampede. Sudden loud noise? What, like... Bang! Ah! Chicken on the loose! Whoa! This way, this way! Phew! That was close. Now, no more sudden loud noises, Nanny Plum. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Chickens ride west! Chickens ride west! Wagons are a-rolling! West we are going! Chickens ride west! Chickens ride west! We've reached Crooked Creek. What do you mean, Crooked Creek? It's a creek, isn't it? And it's crooked. It's just a little river. Somehow we have to get the chickens to the other side. And chickens don't like crossing water. <laughs> I thought chickens loved water. Have you ever seen a chicken in water? All the time. Swimming up and down, going quack, quack. Look, there's one. <coughs> That's a duck. <sighs> Whatever. Chickens are not ducks and they don't like swimming. Ooh. So what can we do? We'll use an old cowboy trick to get the chickens across. Wait here. What's the old cowboy trick? I don't know, but it's bound to be very clever. Or very silly. But probably funny. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gaston. We think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. <laughs> it's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy. We're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right then. 
So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry, we'll make it just the way you like it. Yes, <laughs> we're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun! Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Zip zap zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your case untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play! Hey, wait for us! <laughs> Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Hee <laughs> 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 Can't catch me! Yes, we can! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> oh, Gaston sneezing! Mummy, Daddy, Gaston the Ladybird's caught a cold. I'm not surprised. His cave is leaking. Look! Hmm. There's a hole here. Maybe if we move that pebble over it... Good day. Good day, wise old elf. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Gaston's cave is leaking. Hmm. Leaks can be tricky. What you need is a proper builder to fix it. But where can we find a builder? I'm a builder. Really? Oh, yes. Elves are very good at building. And I'm an elf. <laughs> In that case, I command you to fix Gaston's cave. Yes, Your Majesty. A wise decision. Hmm, interesting. There seems to be water dripping in. Yes, and there's a hole up here. <laughs> that hole won't be the cause of the leak. How do you know? With respect, some things are best left to proper builders. So how long will it take to fix the leak? Oh, it will take a very, very long time. And while the building work is going on, the ladybird won't be able to live here. But Gaston's got a cold. Where can he stay? Well, perhaps Gaston could stay with us. Yippee! Are you sure you know what you're doing, darling? Ho oh, ho! Of course I know what I'm doing. I'm king. <laughs> <laughs> Time to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, 
fetch Daddy's slippers. <coughs> 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 Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> drop! <coughs> drop! Drop! <coughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <coughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh, I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet. He's dug up an old stick. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! <coughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <coughs> oh, it's raining. Round to umbrella. Wow! <laughs> Let's play indoors. Come on, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Dee dee da, dum dee, dum dee do. Ah, oh, I love a clean kitchen. Hello, Nanny Clan. No, don't let that ladybird into my kitchen. He's making muddy footprints everywhere. Get off the floor. Not on the table. Shoo, shoo. This is a food preparation area. Oh, where's he going now? Maybe he's gone to see Daddy. He likes Daddy. Uh, who let this smelly ladybird in the house? Ah! Holly! Yes, Daddy? Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. We live in the castle. Gaston lives outside. Mm. Never mind, Gaston. Let's all go to the great elf tree instead. <laughs> Mrs Elf, that blueberry pie smells delicious. Yes, Mr Elf. The secret is to cook it very slowly over three days. Hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. <laughs> ah, can't he shake himself outside? <laughs> that pie is not for you, Gaston. <laughs> now, Ben, Gaston should live outside. We live inside. OK, Mum. Ah! Where's the pie gone? Gaston's eaten it! Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. Okay, Amber. 
Taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! <coughs> Home time! And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye! Everyone, let's play with Gaston. Yes, Gaston. It's empty. Where is Gaston? Gaston, Gaston. Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No. Has anyone seen Gaston? No. no. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. no. Gaston is lost. Nanny! Nanny! Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning, but he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. Wiggle your legs. <laughs> Gaston loves wiggling his legs. <laughs> oh, has Gaston got one new spot today? I'm not sure. Do ladybirds get new spots? Ladybirds get a new spot for every birthday. Wow, Gaston's got lots of spots, so he must have had lots of birthdays. <laughs> and lots of birthday parties. <laughs> Oh, have you never had a birthday party, Gaston? <laughs> That's really sad. Daddy, Mummy, it's not fair. Gaston's never had a birthday party. Well, I wish I'd never had a birthday party. Oh, darling, it's your birthday tomorrow and you'll enjoy it. No, I won't. This year I don't want a party. Oh, Daddy, you say that every year. Well, this year I mean it. I don't like my parties with the elf band singing about me getting older. You're lucky you're getting a party, Daddy. Gaston's never even had one. <sighs> then give my party to Gaston. I'm going to have a bath. Oh, same every year. So grumpy about his birthday, but he always enjoys it in the end. Come on, let's go and see how the elf band are getting on. Hello, wise old elf. We've come to hear the song you're doing for Daddy's birthday. Ah, yes. We've come up with a good one this year. I think King Thistle will be very pleased. King Thistle is old, 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 and today he's even older. King Thistle is old, 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 old. Very sweet. What's happening? Ah! Ants! Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. my horn. There's my wand. Oi! That's our TV. The ants are taking 
eating all our things. Yes, and ours too. Where are they taking it? Down to the Queen Ant. Nanny, I command you to have a word with this Queen Ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> so Gaston can be your ant translator. Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes, but stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! Oh, dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. Ooh, it's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's Cave. Gaston, are you in? <coughs> this is our friend, Gaston the Ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. <coughs> so that is the sound a ladybird makes. <coughs> 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 What did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy. Hello, darling. Oh! <laughs> it's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. <laughs> no. You can't eat her. What does Elf Boy do? Elf Man. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elf Mobile. <coughs> but that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elf Mobile. <coughs> The Elf Mobile can go on land, sea, or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on. We can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No, you have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the Little Kingdom and I'll try and stop you. OK, I will be the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry ice cream? Ice queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elf Mobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, fairy girl. Bye! I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. Whoa. 
Holly, I have brought you this beautiful ring. Thank you. Is it magical? Um, maybe a little. Just don't rub it, OK? OK. And for Daisy and Poppy, two grown-up wands. Wandy! Wandy! But we've just taken their wands away. Yes, it's lucky I came when I did. These wands belonged to your great-grandparents, Vlad the Powerful and Sharon the Totally Insane. Not dangerous, are they? Only as dangerous as the person who waves them. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we'd better put these straight in the cupboard. Oh, well, of course, you know best. And it's past your bedtime. Mm. Come on, up to bed. Now for your bedtime story. Little Bunny Bunting. Darling, would you mind awfully if I read the twins the story? Uh, oh, yes, of course. How kind. But uh, try not to get them too excited. They're meant to be going to sleep. Of course. Leave it to me. Once upon a time, there lived a rabbit called Little Bunny Bunting. Sounds a bit boring to me. <laughs> this is the book that I had when I was a little girl. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? After me, wave your wands! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, that's not a stick. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Strawberry. <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow. wow! What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh! It's a bit broken. We can mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> It's just a toy robot. It'll do this. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork. But there's no key. Our magic a key. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it'll be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Poppy? Give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry, I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. Typical. They ring for me and 
then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum. But it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Baby Dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa, oompa. Oompa, oompa. Oompa, oompa. Oompa, oompa. Oompa, oompa. Interesting. That was Awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> Charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. <laughs> Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge. There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves. Oh, my favourite. We need something to turn into shoes. 
Lemons? No, they need to be shoe shaped. Ah! Oh, carrots! <laughs> now we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes, nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, ho, ho, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Ooh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <gasps> oh, I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating. And no... Excuse us, please. Fairy princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. Come on, fast now. Ben, come on, Ben. Oh, Ben can't hear me. We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat Magic Ben a hat. Oh. <coughs> ben. Are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Mm -hmm. 
please turn Ben back, Nanny? I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong. But Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Nonsense! Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. Now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to happen again. Is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew, for a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Ah! I'm also a children's entertainer. Oh, carry on then. These children are a bit of a handful, especially when they do magic. There won't be any magic at this party. I'll put the toddler's wands into the library where they can't cause any trouble. Very clever. Let's get this party started. Hooray! Musical statues. When the music stops, you have to stand as still as a statue. <laughs> Aha! Raspberry, I saw you move. <laughs> and you, Nettle. That's because they haven't been turned to stone yet. Ah! Strawberry, you've magic them into real statues. Of course. That's how we fairies play musical statues. This is not a fairy party. Turn them back to normal. OK. The big children's ones are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now... I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Ah! Oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. 